Today we'll be taking a look at Sailforth to determine if it's worth playing. Sailforth is available on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, and on PC via Steam and Epic Games. Rather than describe what the game is, I'm going to jump into a new save and show you. Everything in this video will be from the first 30 minutes of the game after the opening tutorial to avoid spoilers. Alright, so I've completed the opening tutorial, and basically the opening tutorial is going to be the first two islands you're going to discover, so you're going to spawn in on your little raft, you're going to go through this first area, each time it's going to be named something different. The first area is going to look exactly the same, I believe the second area is pretty similar each time. They're going to have different names, and then after that you're basically going to be able to discover the map. So there's two ways of discovering locations, one is to fast travel between locations, so like I got a map fragment that unlocked this place up here, but also you can just sail in any general direction, and if there's an island up there you can find it. So we're just going to sail over here to Seaborn Cove, and this kind of show off the sailing. So basically the sailing is pretty simple. You're just going to hold forward on the, or basically W on mouse and keyboard. You can, on controller, I'm guessing you're just going to hold forward on the joystick. And you'll notice in the bottom there's a compass. If the compass, if the direction you're sailing in is green, it means you're sailing with the wind. On the left of that is going to be the actual direction of the wind. And what that's going to show is if it's in the green, you're going to be moving fast. If it's in the red, you're going to be moving slow. So you can just kind of slow down or speed up. And essentially, aside from that, we're going to take, let's quickly take a look at what we have inside of our boat. So you're going to spawn in on a raft, immediately find your first little crew member down here, Moose. She's going to let you upgrade your boat and pick which one of two boats you can pick, and then you'll do the tutorial and basically get all this stuff. So once you get your new boat, you're going to get your little cannon equipped on there. You'll be able to go into your radio menu here. So you're going to have four different options in the radio menu at the start. You're going to have open world, open area map. This is going to show you everything in the current area you're in. So this is going to show you that there's a little island over here that's worth going to, and then there's islands up here. We can also look at our world map. So if you go to the world map, once you've un uh, discovered a location you can fast travel to them so as an example here if i wanted to go back to the starting area i can just click on this and it'll instantly skip me down there instead of having to sail all the way back you can sail all the way back if you want to but you can also fast travel to save time you're also going to have cargo here so i've destroyed a couple of clam clams and they drop pearls and then down here you're going to have the fleet management this is going to allow you to change the the way your boat looks later on you're also going to be able to manage your crew so right now i just have my captain who's captain toot Captain Toot gives plus 10% max speed, and then my only crew member is Goose. Goose gives you a minus 10% repair cost. Each crew member you pick up along the way will give you different uh, bonuses. They range from, from what I've seen, repair cost being cheaper, repair cost being, or repairing being faster, movement speed faster, attack, more attack damage, things along those lines. You can also rename the boat if you so choose, choose to do so. If you damage your boat, which will probably happen in the course of this video, we'll hit, go down here and hit repair. As long as you have some wood planks, you can repair it. You do not have to worry about having cannonballs for your cannons or anything like that. So no worries on ammo. The only thing you have to worry about is actually being uh, having it up with uptimes because they do. Each one has uh, various reload times. So that's about the only thing you have to worry about. So no need to go around. Like you're not going to go island to island picking up cannonballs. So we're going to go over here. This is our first merchant. The game has lots of merchants. This merchant is Odo Orion. I'm not sure if his name's the same every time. It probably is, but I'm not sure. This, the guy looks the same anyway from the other save that I played on. Basically what this guy's going to do, and I'm just going to skip through the chat here because I already know what it's going to do. This guy's going to allow you to upgrade your ship or to buy a new ship or sell ships. So you can actually have more than one ship in your fleet to help you along the way. So we're just going to pick here. It doesn't really matter what we say, I don't think. And then we're going to go down here and just skip through the dialogue so we can get to the part where it shows you what we can do to upgrade. He also, You can also buy and sell resources that you find along the way. So as an example, we're going to be able to sell him the pearls in order to purchase some upgrades. And he's just chatty, chatty, chatty here. Okay, so let's. So we have the options here. We can build a new boat, we can talk about upgrades, we can sell some cargo, we can sell a boat from our fleet, we can recover a lost vessel, or we can leave. So let's sell some cargo because we do have some pearls, so we wanna get some more currency. The currency is the wood here, so we're just gonna sell both of those. We're gonna go back to the main menu. And let's, talk, let's look at an option here of let's talk about boat upgrades. So let's jump in here and see. So right now he has to offer some different cannons. So the boat that I have right now, the two boats you get to pick from the beginning have three cannon slots. You're only going to have one after you finish the tutorial. So what we're going to do here is look at these. You're going to notice there's different statistics for each of the cannons. So they each have different weight, damage, reload time, angles they can aim, the how far they can shoot, and then their DPS. So we're going to go here and go with this one right here. So we have 360 wood. So we'll buy two of those, and we'll be good. We'll just go equip them really quickly. You can also get mods for your... For your boat as well so let's head out of here so we can equip our cannons chatty 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 so we're just going to go down here to cargo to equip them and we're gonna go down here and hit equip and you'll notice that you have option here to put the weapons in the different in the different spots and then we're gonna go down here and equip this one and put it over here you also notice there's a mod spot you can get mods that will let you sail faster do more damage things along those lines so let's just head on out and explore this area 
for basically the duration of this video. From what I've, everything's procedurally generated, so each time you play, it's going to look slightly different. Of course, I like I said, the beginning's going to be the same. So we're just going to head over here to Islands. The I, there's a story that you're going to follow along the way. I'm not going to spoil that. If we run into any of it, that'll be fine. There's also other activities like fishing and taking pictures of people. Those things are going to let you update the cosmetics of your boat. You'll notice right now my boat has a sail that is blue with a little sun on there. You can actually change that later on when you uh, unlock when you catch catching fish. Basically, it lets you unlock the different cosmetics and taking pictures as well. You're going to notice here that we have these crates over here that we can break. And shooting is pretty, the combat's pretty simple, the sailing's pretty simple, so just as long as you're inside the little radius over there, it'll give you the resources, so we're gonna, or you'll be able to shoot it if it's inside the cone, so when you aim, it'll bring up the menu here, so you're gonna notice I have a cannon on three sides that I can shoot from, on this boat in particular, there's other boats along the way, as long as you're inside that cone, you can shoot it, and take out whatever you're the enemy, or the enemies, or the resource you're trying to knock off, so there's another, here's another vendor that's over here, so let's go take a look at this guy over here. These are the guys that are going to teach you. I believe they give you the fishing rod. The sailing, like I said, you just it's very simple. Like once you get used to it, it's pretty pretty easy. It's not very punishing like other games. I'm sailing into the wind right now, but I'm still moving at a relatively decent clip here. Obviously, if you want to be more efficient, you can just loop around, but we're just going to go straight over here to these guys cuz these are the other merchants. These guys are always on, I believe, the this area. They're going to be in the same area from what I've seen as the previous merchant, and we're just going to skip through the dialogue here. So basically, you have this guy Glubs over here. He's going to Giving him fish is going to allow you to unlock different colors for your mast as well as your boat. And giving this guy here is going to give you, the guy over here snaps, he's going to give you a camera. Taking pictures is going to allow you to put different symbols on there so you can change whatever I have down the sun or whatever. You'll be able to change that later on. And then in the middle we have the the other guy here. And let's see, he's the one that lets you actually change, he's the one that changes your the colors. All right, let's so just skip through this talking here. One of them's going to give us a fishing rod, and the other one's going to give us a camera. So we'll just skip, skip, skip. Uh, we're in hook, line, and sinker. Sure, let's pick that. So there you go. We got our fishing rod, our first item. Fishing's pretty simple once you figure out how to do it, which is very simple. We're going to show you fishing. There is reasons to go back to each location because the, each day it seems like there's going to be fish that spawn in where you can fish. So you can go to different locations to get different fish from what I've seen. Also, there's going to be cargo or little boxes crates or whatever that wash up on the islands so there's always a reason to go back and then we'll say what okay let's do photo time here i'm not sure if the dialogue matters i don't know if it just i guess it just prompts different stuff in the end here at least at the beginning for what i've seen it doesn't matter what you pick maybe later on it does matter okay so he's going to give us this uh okay so you'll pay to collect our photographs yes okay next and we'll just skip through this as fast as possible to get back into the action you'll obviously want to read this stuff just so you can see what they're saying so basically we have the ang the angler over here, the fish, and when you catch fish, you bring them to him and trade them. That's going to unlock you the ability to change colors. The photographer over here, you're going to take some specific pictures. As an example, in one of the tutorial islands, there are some people you want to take a picture of. That'll give you the ability to change the picture that's on your mast. And then the guy down here with the little art symbol, he's the one that actually changes the colors. So now that we're done that, let's go take a look at some fishing, and then we'll go take a look at the camera how the camera works, and then we'll find ourselves some pirates so we can show you the combat and give you kind of basically the gist of it without jumping like too much into the story. Oh, this guy needs his boat. Looking for a boat. Okay, so space. So we can... Oh, we picked this guy up. So basically we just picked up a new crew member. So what we can do down here is like check our crew management. So we'll go down here to fleet management, go to manage crew, and we just picked up Borda. Borda has uh, faster repair time. So we have a goose who gives us less repair costs and Borda, who gives us faster repair time, so that's going to help us repair our ship or ships much faster. So what we're looking for now is we're going to be looking for different coloration in the water. Actually, we want to go back towards where we came from, because I think there were some islands over there that we haven't discovered yet. So we travel back to the previous island area, because over here is going to be these people who asked us to take their picture. So let's just sail over close by, and we're going to hit space to talk. Anytime you interact with anything, like you want to take a picture of something, or you find a location to fish, if you just press, it'll let you interact on mouse and keyboard. It's press the space bar, it'll instantly stop you on the spot, so you don't have to worry about slowing yourself down. So these people want us to take a picture, and this is going to be the first use of our camera. So we have our camera, which we just got from the previous merchant, and we're going to skip through the dialogue here. Okay, and we're going to say yes. Okay, so let's get our camera out. So we're just going to go into our menu here. You're going to notice if we go over here, it's going to have camera now has been added to the radio option. So basically what you do is you can zoom in on them. By doing this, once we get them in the picture, we're going to take the picture, and then we're going to talk to them. This is a great shot. So now that we took their picture, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to trade that to that merchant, and it's going to unlock the ability to change the mast. So next up, let's see if we can find a fishing spot, and then we'll take a look at combat. 
All right, so I've made my way to the next island area, and you're going to notice there's a lot of pirate stuff set up over here. So the pirates come in two forms. They're either on land where they're going to have like these little outposts set up, or they're going to be out on a ship. So I did see a ship sailing around. So let's see if we can take that one out first before there it is over there in the distance. So there's going to be naval combat. You're also going to want to take out the outposts on the land. You want to make sure you kind of just stay away from, you don't want to have both of them at the same time. We got little crew members over here we can pick up later on. I would just want to show off the combat real quick. So these guys don't have a sail up, but they are obviously pirates. Now they put their sails up. So basically the combat is just aim and sail around them. So we're going to head over here. And we do have cannons on both sides of our, or all three sides of our ship. So you're going to notice it doesn't show you how much, uh, basically how much armor they have. And we have more armor, so we are okay here. They did hit us, so we'll repair in just a second. And again, you want to make sure you have the wind at your back if possible. So let's just head around here and do a little loop-de-loop. -loop and see if we can take them out. We're going to be heading right at them here. They got 10 left, and we're going to head behind here. Make a little right-hand turn, and they're doing the same thing. So we're on the same page here, and we sink them. Missed that time. Just missed there. Combat's pretty, like I said, pretty, it's not it's not terribly complicated. Once you get used to it, you'll be you'll be fine. Later on, you will run into situations where there's lots of you'll have more than one ship at the same time. So you kind of want to be careful on how many ships you're taking on the same time, especially if you only have one of your own. And this guy actually left. I don't know if they're repairing or not. Let's see if they repair because I've not actually fought one and then had them mid combat run away. So I'm not even sure if they repair or not. So we're gonna head over here and try to take these guys out. There's also these clamps here you want to break. We're not going to wear that right this second. They give you the pearls, which you can sell to that merchant that we talked about earlier. And we actually got a pearl there. I guess they blew it up for us. So we're these guys are basically just running from us. And we're actually at 29 HP, so we probably want to repair. So to repair, you basically just go into fleet management, hit repair. And your crew members will repair while you're moving. So we're down to 22 HP. These guys are just uh, just trying to avoid us here. And I don't think I'm not sure if we can even catch them. Okay, now they're slowly turning towards us. And they're not quite in our range yet. Not quite in our range yet. Now they're in our range. And they're at 4 HP. We can actually ram them, and we've sunk them. So when you sink them, what you do is you can actually... You're going to get different resources from them. Sometimes their crew members will actually join you. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go and look at our cargo, because we just got something new. So we got the whip cracker over here. The whip cracker is going to give us faster rowing speed, so we can actually equip this, because it's the only one we have so far. So taking these out is going to give you some wood planks, which you're going to need. So the combat, like, it's it's pretty it's pretty straightforward. Here's actually a fishing area. So, like, perfect timing here. We're going to jump right into the fishing. So to fish, you're going to find these little fishing areas. It's going to cast your uh, bait out. When the fish bites, which is going to show like that, you're just going to bring it in. And then you're just going to, on mouse and keyboard, use WASD to keep the inside the center there. The little green target. On, I'm assuming on control, you're probably just going to use the, like, left joystick in order to keep it in the center there. If it gets outside of the uh, basically the center area, the fish will actually get away. There's lots of different types of fish. So we've caught a fish. We have taken a picture, and we did some combat. Let's actually take out one of these outposts over here. Then we'll go over to the let vendors and trade in our stuff. So these guys over here, they're going to be on our left here. So we're going to try to sail by them pretty quickly and basically just try to take them out. So we hit them with, can we hit them with our cannon here? And we hit those guys. So they have three HP left. These guys are going to have... We take them out. Okay, we got them out on the first try. So basically, you take out the little outposts there. You're going to want to take those out in each area because it's going to give you resources. Sometimes it gives you map fragments. Sometimes it gives you planks. Sometimes it gives you other things. And then over here, it looks like we got some more crew members we can pick up. So that's basically the gist of the combat. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to our map here, and we're just going to fast travel back to where the merchants are. The merchants are going to be back here in this third island here. And accept. So we're going to go down here. We're going to trade in the fish that we caught, and we're going to give a picture to the merchant and we're going to show you kind of how to custom how you can customize your ship and it also show you like how many things are actually to unlock there's also a uh, like a research tree you can unlock later on we're not going to get to that in this video that's going to allow you to upgrade your ship by getting by being able to make different cannons be able to put like armor on your ship things along those lines all right so we're making our way over here to these other merchants so we're going to go over here we're going to pull in and we're going to hit talk and let's just trade in the stuff we have. So we have one fish that we captured. So we're going to talk over here to Globs and hand over your fish. And we're going to click this one right here. And that's the Monty fish. So there's definitely, there's tons of different types of fish. That unlocked the ability to change our mask color to this lighter blue color. All right, let's skip through the dialogue real quick. 
And then let's talk. He's going to give us, not only is he going to give us the color unlock, it's also going to give us wood here. So anytime you get a fish, even if they're dupes, you bring them over here. He's going to give you the more planks. We can look at our fish collection. You'll notice there are, I believe, 35. So there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 36 different fish right now that you can unlock. And then we're going to talk to the guy over here that we took pictures for. So we took a picture of those people. Hand over your photo film. And what's this? These are the people we took a picture of. And he's going to do something. I guess he's just take, I don't know, he does something with it. Okay, gave us the heart. So these people were, we were taking a picture of them. It was a couple that we took off, so that gives us the heart. And he's going to give us 95 wood planks for it. Perfect. He's going to give us a new fresh set of film roll. And we're going to talk to the last NPC over here, the one in the center here. What he's going to do is let us customize our ship. So basically we can go in here. He's going to talk. So you can change your decal. Right now we have the default ones are the ones at the top here. We've unlocked the heart here. There's others you can unlock later on. So we can change it to the heart. You can change the sail color. The colors we have right now are these. So we'll just do something, I guess, nice there like that. And then you can go down here to your primary colors for your boats. So as an example, we just unlocked this color from the fish that we caught. And we can do that. And we can hit done. And he's going to sit here and make our ship look nice. And then you'll notice that if we put our sail up, our sail now has the new decal on it, and it also is a different color. So that's the customization. So that's everything I kind of wanted to show in this video. Like I said, I don't want to get too deep into spoilers. There is a story you will play through. Because the map is procedurally generated, no two playthroughs will be the same. You can pick different ships. You can have multiple ships. You can upgrade your ships. There's going to be lots of fish to collect. There's a huge research tree to unlock. So for me, the game is only priced at like $20 right now, and it's actually on sale for the first week on Steam, at least. Not sure about on other platforms. I picked it up on sale for like $18. bucks. i am definitely th expecting to get dozens and dozens of hours out of this game. I like it so far. It's surprising. This is not the kind of game I normally play, but I just like the overall kind of the simplicity of the game, but it also looks nice, and everything kind of feels rewarding. The combat feels rewarding. You're kind of you're rewarded for what you do. Catching the fish, turning them in, like everything you do kind of pushes you forward along your journey along the way. So anyway, this is Sail Forth. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.